everyone uh, once again good uh, good day uh, this is professor roger flores uh, your professor of the subject uh, ea30 uh, electrical engineers uh, engineering utilities so for today we are going to continue our uh, discussion with regards to our subject and let's proceed to uh, chapter 3 this is entitled uh, building electrical design principles Okay, so here we're going to uh, uh, to orient, to discuss some of the uh, important uh, thing with regards to electrical design. So to start with, we have this chapter 3, uh, Building Electrical uh, Design Principles and... Uh, we have here okay, so let's proceed to conductor requirements no mga cables conductor materials insulation conductor capacity requirements voltage sa uh, ampacity uh, requirements voltage drop requirements insulation color coding and, and identification marking so let's begin with conductor materials so basically copper and aluminum are the common conductor materials that is used okay so solid copper is used for uh, the sizes which is uh, small no uh, which is a small conductor now maybe up to about eight uh, american wire gauge or 8.0 uh, mm squared no so standard aluminum conductors are widely used in a larger circuit uh, servings large motors equipments and appliances so yun po uh, maybe uh, above uh, 30 amperes uh, stranded po yung gagamitin natin so that uh, we'll be able to yung madali natin pag install pag uh, connect pag tapping kasi it is uh, stranded okay especially if malaki yung uh, sizes ng conductor natin okay so this table shows the Normal range applications and uh, for commonly used conductor sizes. So, ito po yung ginagamit nila dito po is uh, American wire gauge. Basically, in the Philippines, we are not uh, anymore using American wire gauge. But, of course, we are using this uh, uh, international or SI, you know, SI unit, the MM squared. Okay. So, next, uh, we have to discuss conductor insulations. Ito po yung... Uh, the uh, material that will uh, insulate no to provide electrical uh, isolation okay and uh, physical uh, protection of the conductor material we have the type of insulation materials determine the environment in which a wire or cable can be used uh, safety so uh, different types of insulation later will be given like this now insulators like plastic and rubber are used in a wire uh, 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 covering for electric uh, wires so we have this uh, uh, insulator here uh, insula insulation this makes uh, electric uh, wires safer to handle okay uh, because the insulator protects your uh, you from the current so we have this one so ampacity requirements of the conductor so in a building, electrical system, the capacity of the conductor may need to be adjusted with correction. Factors when con uh, condition related to the, the temperature of the surroundings. No? So correction factors typically applied at address in the following uh, sections. So you know, the succeeding tables uh, for the rest of the table that we have. So uh, contain capacities for various uh, conductor. Uh, con conductor insulations and seatings. No, capacities provided in the these tables are values uh, based on the normal operate, uh, operating temperature. So, ito po yung mga uh, mga common cable markings. No, so mayroon po itong SA, ibig sabihin service entrance, UF underground feeder. So we have all these uh, markings. No. Okay, so cable is a transformer. Okay, so we have almost similar to this. Kindly uh, go over with this one for uh, aluminum and copper so that uh, it could be used as our uh, materials uh, to be installed. Okay, 
So we have these some limitations and uh, some uh, requirements. Now we have positive values for each character sizes or size are for different equipment material. Okay, so it's very clear. Heat generated at equipment materials can be damaged the conductors. So um, if it is not properly dissipated. So that is why uh, we must have to take note, we have to uh, keep safe and safety, especially operating our power plant or power installation in our whole house, uh, in our uh, buildings and any other uh, uh, agencies. Or, okay, so we have this uh, temperature correction factor. So ambient temperature is the temperature of the surrounding medium. So in cases of wi electrical wiring, which is the temperature of the medium surrounding, uh, this uh, ambient uh, thermometer uh, temperature raises less current generated heat in, uh, is needed to reach the temperature rating of the insulation. So uh, we should have to uh, consider this insulation. Uh. So ampacity is governed by contribution of ambient heat. Okay, so refers to the normal temperature range in the environment in which that conductor is to be used. That is ambient temperature. So conductor opacity adjusted for changes in ambient temperature including uh, temperature below 78 uh, degrees Fahrenheit or 26 degrees uh, Celsius and or above of this. So these are some of the example of temperature correction for uh, THHN. Okay, so we have this example. Determine the opacity of the number 8. Okay. Madali lang and then nandun yan sa table. Okay, so we have this factor. The ambient uh, temperature range of uh, negative uh, or 0.67. So correction factor also for 6 conductors in a raceways we have uh, 0.8. Okay, so we will be able to know what is the temperature range of uh, the uh, the temperature range and of course the uh, raceway. You know? So so much for this table here. These properties of power copper and aluminum conductors. Okay, so we have this it's it's into. Okay, so um, current opacity is equal to the normal current times the uh, uh, temperature factor and uh, the ano ba tawag ng F sub N? The uh, conductor, a number of conductor in the raceways. Okay, so we have that uh, given 40 amperes of the normal current and uh, point, uh, uh, ano yan, point, uh, 67 uh, or uh, terminal uh, or temp temperature factor and uh, we showed we have this uh, 0.8 okay another factor and this is uh, the opacity of the current is 21.4 so under this condition 21.4 is uh, as uh, been solved or derived is our um, condition the the uh, opacity of our conductor 21.4 Okay, voltage drop requirements. Ano po ba yung requirements ng voltage drop? Okay, uh, we have this. Ampacity requirements, run circuits and feeder should be analyzed for voltage drop because of the adverse effect. And total voltage drop in the feeders and run circuits should not exceed 5%. Okay, so kailangan na uh, hindi masyadong mataas yung conductor natin or cables because kung pag mataas yan, and it will exceed to 5%, it will not qualify to our actual design. Okay, So we have the basic uh, formula for determining the voltage drop. So that is equal to the voltage drop, E sub drop is equal to 2 times your L, the length of the conductor, and your R, the resistivity of the conductor, and your current in amperes. So divide by 1000. The voltage drop here should not be more than 5%. Okay, so the percentage of voltage drop is that determined by the ratio of voltage drop and system voltage. Okay, this is another example. Okay, number 8 copper wire, THHN, security is one way, a length of 200 uh, feet, carrying 16 amperes and 220 volts, 
approximate uh, the voltage drop and percentage of uh, voltage drop in the circuit okay so we have this voltage drop is uh, 4.1 and divide by the available voltage line we have 120 more or less that is equal to 0 0.03 or 3.4 percent so basically it is just a very small uh, voltage drop and uh, it is not yet uh, beyond uh, 5 percent as our limit okay so we have this uh, sing for single phase we have this equation copper uh, length is equal to e over e sub e sub drop circular mill 21.6 okay so we have all this uh, uh, solution no so another uh, table here is the opacity of the insulated conductors so just repair on this opacity no? so we have uh, insulation color coding and identification of markings this is also very important okay this insulation on small and uh, medium size conductor is color coded for identification so ano po ba yung green ano po ba yung uh, may uh, ano ba yun? uh, gray na may stripes so yun po yung mga grounding system natin grounding conductor Okay, larger conductor required for color identification or mark at the terminal ends with the uh, hand uh, painted stripe or colored tape uh, wrap around the conductor insulation. Ito po yung mga servisyo natin, no? That we should have to issue um, and uh, to uh, deter, uh, to uh, have this uh, uh, hand uh, painted stripe or color tape for the larger conductor requiring a color identification then we have the grounding uh, ground conductor uh, conductor insulation must be color coded green with one or more yellow stripes or any be a bare conductor on small conductors cables okay so just go bear with this one ito po yung system for color coding identification markings for conductors so now let's proceed to cable raceways and uh, enclosure requirements we have this cable and raceway requirements no? during installation conductors are snicked through conduit or tubing are laid in a wireway or are contained in cables secured to structural framing so that is important care must be exercised in placing conductors as conductors insulation can be easily damaged okay so conductors that are run through raceway must have sufficient enough air space to prevent overheating the number of current carrying conductors that can run through a pass raceway is limited by code okay so these uh, recommend values or are rec uh, rec recommended values are less than those typical establishment or establish maximum values in electrical code so we have this uh, part of the electrical code so allow for least co in converse some uh, installation based on in the industry experience no? so rigid conduit and tubing these are the materials or device that will help protect the insulation of our conductor so emt imc and the ent so favorite three materials used to protect conductors in all types of uh, ban uh, buildings no so we have this one so cable and uh, flexible conduit okay flexible metal conduit liquid tight flexible and uh, non-metal conduit so ito po yung mga suggested niya na gagawin so rigid conduit and tubing must be sported with trip feet a of a box or other connection and an interval of 10 uh, feet okay so uh, flexible conduit must be supported by three to six inches no uh, of a box except up to 36 the uh, is allowed at usage point where flexibility is required so mayroon din po tayong tinatawag na grounding conductor okay by the way unang una IMC and EMT can be used as grounding conductor if it is continuous and properly bonded especially if that uh, of course uh, EMT and IMC are all metals okay so it is required for flexible conduit it can be bare or insulation so we have that the grounding conductor so rigid non-metal conduit and tubing cannot be used as the grounding material okay so we have that one so non-metallic seated conductor we have these restrictions 
and also for armored uh, cable. Okay, it is used in dry indoor application, restricted or restriction for use is commercial garage, motion picture, theaters, places and assembly, elevator, host waste, and other corrosive or hazardous location. Bends are limited to do or bends are limited to no less than five times the diameter. Okay, conduits uh, and cables should be installed away from the locations. More building occupies uh, contents occupants might use it as an or a ha house or handhold or footsteps. So we have this one, oh, so for this cable and wristways. So box or enclosures or requirements. So we have this uh, electrical connection must be in the protective enclosure, such as panel board junctions or device box or fixture or uh, appliance. Any switch outlet and connection must be contained an electrical box and ever every lighting fixture must be mounted in the box okay so junction box must be mounted so that the blank cover plate is visible and uh, readily accessible so any box can be used for any purposes or purpose okay so una -una, there are no equipment or requirements that uh, specify that a certain type of electrical box be installed for a specific purposes okay so typical uh, uh, typical trade practice octagon and round boxes for lighting insulation or lighting outlets normally installed overhead for lighting installation okay so in rectangular and square boxes for uh, switches and uh, receptacle outlets okay so we have this next Sizes and uh, number of uh, conductors should be installed in a box influence. So, mayroon po yan din doon sa table ng Philippine Electrical Code. Just go on and review about it. So, sizes of number of conductors to be installed in an influence selection type of box and box sizes. Fixture wires and conductors that do not have the box, such as international grounding wire, are not counted. Mm -hmm. So, it's very clear. One conductor is deducted for one or more grounding conductors that enter the box. Conductors in an electrical box must have sufficient open air space to prevent overheating. Okay. So ito po yung mga different sizes ng conductor at saka yung mga boxes at saka yung uh, specified number of uh, conductors. Mm. So let's proceed to the branch re circuit requirements no ano pa ano pa ba yung mga requirement natin bilang uh, uh, to to design electrical system so this uh, consists of several circuits that extend out from the switch board or panel board a branch circuit is that portion of the building wiring system that extends beyond the final over current protection device that is protecting the circuit so, ibig sabihin, the uh, branch circuit is from the panel board going to the individual outlets. It is either appliance or special or lighting outlets. So, that is yung pong tinatawag natin ng branch circuit. Uh, it provides power from a circuit breaker or fuse, the panel board, or single or multiple points of called outlets. This outlet is a point in a uh, wiring system where current is taken to supply and appliances. Okay, a branch circuit is composed of an overcurrent protection device, which is either a fuse or a circuit breaker, and uh, wiring and one or more outlets. Oh, ano po ba yung tinatawag natin na individual branch circuit? So, ito po yung uh, uh, branch circuit serves one receptacle or piece of equipment just as for a range, clothes dryer, large copy machine, or other piece of uh, machinery. So, ibig sabihin, ito po yung uh, uh, branch circuit na isa lang po yung load niya. Okay? So, that is uh, individual. So, maybe yung, ang kanyang uh, load niya is yung uh, clothes dryer, large ca copy machine, or uh, copier, no? And other piece of machinery. That is individual branch circuit. For the general purpose branch circuit, uh, two or more outlets for lighting and appliances. Ibig sabihin, uh, it is uh, called the general purpose branch circuit 
Because ito po yung brand circuit na uh, may kasamang uh, convenience outlet or may kasamang uh, lighting or bulb, no? Lighting outlet. So, kaya nga tinatawag siyang uh, general purpose brands outlet. Okay. So, uh, ito po, no? Number two. Number three, appliance brand circuit. Okay. So, uh, appliance brand uh, circuit. Ito po yung brand circuit that supplies energy to one or more uh, uh, outlets to which appliance are to be connected. Okay. So, appliance brand circuit ang tawag niyan. So, yung mga convenience outlet para sa mga appliances natin, uh, yan po ang uh, i-coconnect natin yan doon sa tinatawag natin appliance brand circuit. Ito po yung multi-wire brand circuit. This is a brand circuit which uh, uh, having uh, or consists of two or more underground uh, conductors. Okay? So, mayroon dyang neutral, mayroon dyang hot, or mayroon dyang uh, ground, uh, ground uh, wire. Mayroon din tayong tinatawag na life safety brand circuit. Ito po yung uh, emergency system of feeders and brand circuit that provides adequate power to patients and personnel. So, kaya nga tinatawag itong life safety brand circuit for, specifically for, uh, uh, limbawa sa mga hospitals and so on and so forth, uh, mayroon tayong tinatawag na uh, adequate power to protect our patients and uh, even our doctors and other personnel. Meron din tayong tinatawag na critical brand circuit. So, emergency system of feeders and brand circuits intended to provide power to task illumination, special power circuits, selected receptacles, serving areas and functions related to patient care. So, meron tayong mga tinatawag critical brand circuit. Meron din tayong tinatawag na split wiring receptacles, na? Okay, so ito po, one grounded conductor feeds power to upper uh, outlets and the um, other ungrounded conductor feeds the lower outlets. No, So we have that split uh, wiring allows power to be drawn from two separate circuits on one duplex receptacle. Okay, so ito po yung uh, go over with this one, brand circuit ratings and loads. It is uh, important also. By the way, uh, ito po yung mga summarize no? uh, formula that might help us. No? That might help us in the computations for example, determining uh, power, voltage, current. No? Ito po dito. Uh, for uh, three phase, for single phase of the alternating current. So we have here the uh, single phase uh, uh, alternating current system we have the three phase so meron po tayong mga formula dito to solve for the direct current uh, the uh, we have also to, uh, to to determine uh, some of these uh, um, parameters no like uh, the dc power the alternating current real power and they have the apparent power and the current and the power factor itself so try to use this uh, summarize the uh, table here okay so uh, this is also our the uh, tawag natin na volt ampere loads and correct uh, corresponding ampere amperage loads of a single phase okay so single phase and three phase circuit but for various system voltage based on upon power factor uh, power factor natin po dito is uh, 1.0 or this is the uh, meaning resistive load po ito. Okay, so just go over with these uh, values here. Okay, meron pa nga ito isa. Okay, so maximum connected loads, voltage and requirements for common okay, in the house. Okay, so go over with these uh, tables here that might help us in the identification of uh, the sizes and the conductor and others. So, we have also here the cutaway pictorial of the uh, room with a separate circuit for lighting convenience receptacles. So, ito po yung, pag tinitingnan natin dito, ito po yung room natin. I hope that you can see this one. So, ito po yung mga, mga convenience outlet natin. Meron siyang separate na uh, brand circuit. Ito po yung... Uh, uh, aircon halimbawa, you have, this is an aircon. We have also a separate circuit. And of course, we have a separate circuit also for our lighting. 
So, to give you a, an example of the an electrical plan or electrical layout, ito po, mayroon po tayong lamp dito, mayroon tayong switch, mayroon po tayong uh, circuit uh, home run dito. Ito po yung sa mga outlet natin at ito po yung sa special outlet, talimbawa aircon. So, yun po, sabi natin kanina, pag we have this uh, uh, is last year, three slashes, then this is a three-phase, no? That signifies three-phase uh, air conditioning system. Okay, so about this, we have this uh, schematic layout of your lamps, lighting, connected in parallel, so on and so forth. So, we have this uh, floor plan layout with electrical lighting. So, mayroon din po tayong tinatawag na general purpose circuit, no? So, more than one outlet for lighting or other purposes. Ito po yung general. Kitingin na lang po yung mga rating ng mga kuryente natin sa general purpose uh, general purpose uh, out uh, circuits, no? Then, the, uh, mayroon po din mayroon din po tayong tinatawag na uh, mga specifications or uh, limited, no? Limitation according to what will be the connected to the load. So, mayroon po din po tayo. When a general purpose circuit feeds fixed appliance and luminaires or portable appliances. So, the total of the fixed appliance should be no more than 50% of the brand circuit. Uh, uh, if the, uh, when uh, portable appliances will be used in general purpose, then we have uh, portable appliances only 80%. Okay, so, medyo malaki siya, and so on, no? So, we have all these things here for uh, 120 volts, okay? So, dito sa Pilipinas, hindi masyadong ginagamit ang 120. Well, we, we use uh, 220 or 230. So, mayroon din tayong na individual uh, circuits, no? Which provides power to a single outlet. Uh, okay, single outlet. Uh, we have this one. Okay, uh, receptacles, rains, clothes dryer, or copy machines. Okay, so yun po ang individual circuits. So meron din po tayong uh, suggested uh, uh, rated uh, current of 25 amperes. And uh, individual circuit be, uh, must, uh, must have 50% maximum single load limitations. So on and so forth. So we have this... Um, other no appliances or equipment okay kitchen rinse oven and so on and so forth these are some of the uh individual that we need to have individual circuit okay so mayroon din tayong tinatawag na appliance uh, circuit so po uh, we have this appliance circuit we discuss natin to kanina okay so uh, we have also this uh, continuous load no so, we have this uh, continuous load. Ano po ba itong continuous load? Okay. So, this is uh, uh, connected load that operates for 3 hours or more at any time. Many uh, electrical loads fit within this category. Okay. So, pag mayroon tayong load na nag-operate uh, more than 3 or more, then that is con uh, considered as continuous load, no? So, uh, many electrical loads, no, uh, nag-qualify ng ganito, no, especially in the office or any, uh, or even the classroom, no, uh, like, uh, and uh, classroom lighting installations. When determining a circuit rating, most loads, dams, continuous, must have a circuit rating calculated at 125% of the circuit's connected load. So, the intent behind the 125% uh, factor is from the inability of the, of the overcurrent protection devices to handle continuous load and so on. Okay, so that is a continuous load. So, another way of looking at this is that the connected load of a continuous load circuit should not exceed 80% of the individual circuit rating. So, halimbawa, we have this uh, 20 ampere circuit. Uh, okay, ang uh, gagamitin natin is uh, 16 amperes, no? So, 80% uh, of 20 is 16, or not 60, 16 pala. So, uh, if our current is more than 16, okay, so we, we will not use any more 80, no? Or uh, less than 16 lang po yung makakaya niya ng uh, 80 amper na 
uh, breaker natin. Okay, yan po ang ibig sabihin. So, meron din po tayong tinatawag na branch circuit conductor size. Okay, so ano po ito? So, we have this uh, branch circuit conductor size is tied to circuit rating. So, meron po tayong tinatawag na ampacity dito. Oh, that uh, this ampacity of a conductor can be larger than the circuit rating but not smaller. So, yun po, yung ampacity should be uh, should be larger, not smaller. No? Okay, so this is with regards to the uh, uh, temperature also of the environment. So, residential branch circuit wiring. Okay, uh, we have here, no? Different as uh, residential uh, type of uh, circuit wiring. So, mayroon tayong tinatawag na TMB, mayroon tayong mga NM, non-metallic uh, cable. Okay, so we have all these types. Uh, just go over with this one. Mm -hmm. So, this is how you're going to solve for determine our power. Okay, so if, for example, if we have uh, 120 volts, by the way, uh, do not be confused with this voltage, no? Uh, kasi po, uh, Australian po itong, uh, or Canadian ba ito, yung uh, source natin. Uh, dito sa Pilipinas, uh, 220 or 230 po yung ginagamit natin na voltahe. Okay, two-wire branch circuit feeds in Ganesian lighting that stays on for, naka-on po ito for three hour or more. Okay, three hours or more. No? Determine the maximum continuous load permitted in this branch. So, the maximum power or the continuous load is 2,400 volt amperes. Just multiply the voltage and the current. So, that is the continuous power requirement of that load. Okay? So, we have this example also. So, try to, uh, try to uh, review with this one. So, we have to uh, multiply this by 125% or 1.5%. 25 in the sense that this kind of uh, lamp which is specified here is operating approximately 10 hours uh, per work day. You know? So that is why we multiply it with uh, 1.25 or 125%. Uh, okay, so this is for the lamps or the uh, lighting fixture, the fluorescent. Okay, so we have that one. So, try to review these uh, examples here for uh, some of the examples of the different types of loads and uh, based on the tables that we have. Okay, so from our reference. No? We have next uh, subtopic here is device and equipment uh, requirements. No? Device uh, and equipment requirements. So, we have here for the requirements, we have these uh, different uh, uh, okay, requirements. No? So, we have uh, balik lang po tayo. switches must be selected to match the load, the control, oh, para hindi ma overload. Panel board like enclosures called lighting control panel is used. Large lighting installation that require many switches. And number four, uh, number three, receptacles must be selected to match the appliance or equipment they serve. Ordinary convenience receptacle switches are general, wall mounted, and there are no specific height requirements for switches and receptacles. Okay, meron lang po tayong mga suggestion, no? Na mga point eight, parang ganyan, or mga point four ng mga uh, uh, switches, no? So, normally switches are mounted approximately mga 48 inches, ayun, 1.2 meters above finish floor. And convenience at uh, 16 inches. Uh, that is a convenience outlet lang po. So, ayun po mga suggested. Receptacles are customarily installed with uh, this uh, oriented downward, no? So, downward po yung mga lighting receptacles natin. Unless the receptacle is controlled by a switch, the receptacle is frequently aligned with the grounding slot uh, upward. Ordinary uh, convenience receptacles and switches are general wall mounted and there are no specific height requirements for switches and receptacles. Overcurrent protection, uh, this is for the circuit breaker and fuses. 
So for the overcurrent protection or OCP, fuse or circuit breaker, limit uh, serves to limit current levels in the conductor by interrupting power. And then voltage rating of the fuse or circuit breaker here uh, must be equal to or greater than the voltage of the circuit which the fuse is applied. Okay. The current uh, carried uh, by the electrical circuit or system protected by OCP device must not exceed the maximum current rating of the breaker. Okay, so hindi po yan mag, uh, mag uh, sosobra, mag exceed, no? So, the Ampere's Interruption Current or EIK or Ike rating for circuit breakers should be at least 5,000 and 10,000 for fuses. Okay. So, fuse, uh, this, uh, the fuse or circuit breaker must be installed at a location in the circuit where the conductors receive power. The OCP device must protect the ground conductors. Bakit po hindi na po kailangang uh, i-protect yung grounded conductors? Ha? So, unground lang ang i-protect ng OCP natin. So, lastly, the neutral and the grounded the conductors are not protected. Ayun, sabi ko na nga po. So, feeder requirements. So, we have all these uh, feeder requirements. No? It's a set of conductors that carry comparatively large amount of power through the service equipment to second panel board called a sub-panel board where branch circuits further distribute the power. Yun pong uh, conductor na ginagamit po natin from the main distribution panel to the sub-panel, yun pong tinatawag natin na feeder. Okay, yun pong kinakalangan natin malaman. Switchboard and panel board requirements. So, meron po tayo dito. So, switchboards and panel boards can be used as distribution equipment at a point downstream from the service entrance equipment. Okay, so panel boards, so feeding, lighting, and convenience of the cost and having at least 10% of the circuit rated at 30 or ampere or least are identified as lighting and appliance uh, panel boards. Okay, so uh, power distribution panel boards feed other panel boards or tinatawag po natin ditong some panel boards. No? This is for motors, transformers, but not circuit powering lights and service receptacles. Okay, last one here. In a single panel board, not more than 42 over current protection devices may be used for protecting lighting and appliance branch circuits. Locating over current protection in the panel board, it is important to balance the anticipated load. So, try to balance the anticipated load of the whole uh, system, electrical system. In service equipment panel boards, the neutral and equipment grounding conductors are banded together. So, mayroon po tayong tinatawag na neutral as uh, isolated from the ground. Okay, fuse or circuit breaker must be installed a location in the circuit where the conductor receive power. This location is in the panel board or load center before the conductors leave to convey current to the outlets in the circuit. So, mayroon na tayong discussion noon na uh, service entrance equipment, no? So, hindi na lang natin ito masyadong i-discuss. Basta we have the service equipment, residential service equipment, service uh, equipment, no? So, marami po tayo dito. Ito po, uh, kailangan po natin. Ayun. Uh, service equipment. Ayun sa kabila, residential uh, service equipment and yung stars, uh, service equipment uh, also. So, just go over with this one. Okay. So, meron na uh, ginagamit natin na commonly or common conductors na ginagamit natin dito. We had this uh, for the service entrance equipment. Uh, so, service entrance, meron tayong RHW, THWN, THIN, uh, XHHW or USA, USA especially for the underground system. No? So, ito po yung mga uh, service uh, conductors na ginagamit natin sa service entrance. So, equipment, uh, an 8 uh, clearance, 8 feet clearance is required above low loop and uh, 3 feet uh, clearance is required for steep slope roof. Okay, so ito po yung mga sa service equipment entrances natin. 
So, uh, service equipment, so on and so forth. Mayroon po tayong mga minimum requirement. Okay? So, cover, no? Earth covers. And, uh, for minimum conductor sizes, try to uh, review the table. Now, we have those tables na. Uh, makikita natin itong mga tables sa Philippine Electrical Code. Okay? So, we have these tables here. So, uh, transformer requirements. Okay, so alam naman natin to, ano po itong purpose ng transformer. Step up the, tra uh, the voltage, step down the voltage. So that we will be able to use a smaller size of conductor for the transmission or uh, yes, uh, distribution. So para pag uh, maliit yung conductor, mas uh, uh, hindi masyadong mabigat para sa mga supports natin. Maliit din yung uh, ma mga power loses. Then, at, uh, specifically, uh, uh, economic or economical, economical also no, to use uh, smaller conductors. So, we should have to step down or step up the voltage to step down the current to, para maging maliit yung current. Yun ang po, yung uh, uh, talking about transformers. Anyway, we discussed this one already. Mayroon tayong mga connections, no? So, mayroon tayong Y to Y connection, delta to delta, delta to Y, Y to delta, open delta, and others. No? So, we have that one. So, ano pa bang importante dito sa mga transformers? So, paki uh, go over with these uh, transformers. Okay, primary and secondary conductors are used to carry 100% of the ampere rating of the overcurrent protection. The requirement grounding conductor size is based on the uh, opacity of the phase conductors. Okay, so we have that one. So, mayroon po tayong table dito. So, approximate uh, full load uh, current no, ng mga transformer for single phase or three phase transformers. Occupant protection requirements. So, this is another thing that we are going to consider to protect our occupants. So, mayroon tayong mga uh, tamper-resistant uh, receptacle requirements. Okay, ginagamit po ito yung mga tamper-resistant no? sa mga hospitals, yung sa mga pediatric areas kasi mga bata yung mga maglalaro dyan. So, uh, you must have to use these tamper-resistant receptacle requirements. Products such as plastic uh, plug-in inserts and wall plates with the contact shutters are available for tamper-resistant yung mga covers natin no? uh -huh. so we have this uh, including daycare centers child children's play so yun po sabi ko po kanina we have to protect our children okay so ground fault circuit protection requirements or we have this GFCI the ground fault uh, circuit interrupter uh, protection GFCI no so, in a way, uh, we will not go deeper with this because we discussed this one already in a previous chapter. Okay, so we have all this uh, outdoor convenience outlet. Okay, so we have some prote uh, protection here. Uh, gamit po natin yung standards sa National Electrical uh, uh, Code. No? So, bathroom uh, convenience outlets and others. Okay. So, mayroon po tayo dito sa laundry, uh, sa kahit sa, ano, sa mga, uh, mga wet uh, sink. So, mayroon po tayo mga specification dyan. Kindly review. Okay, this is for the GFCI kung saan natin pwede siyang i-install. Okay. So, lahat-lahat na yan. Go over with this one. No? That is for GFCI. We have also this uh, arc fault circuit uh, interrupter or protection also. Or tinatawag po natin itong uh, uh, EFCI or arc fault uh, uh, yun sa protection natin. No? So, ayun. Um, anyway, as I've said a while ago that we discussed this one uh, in a previous uh, chapter. So, we have this electrical system design. Okay, so, um, ito po yung sa design na natin. Ito po yung mga contents niya, preliminary, ayun. Preliminary design guidelines. 
Okay, unang-una. So, ano po ba yung gagawin natin sa pag-design ng electrical system? Okay, designers should uh, be involved in the of the project from uh, very beginning. So, designers should be involved in the uh, work from the beginning. Electrical designer is the person who could best discuss the electrical component of our project planning with the power company. So, as we start our uh, uh, work, then we should have to start coordinating our uh, power company, our distribution utility. Checking of all the utilities, whether sewer, water, storm sewer, uh, natural gas line, and so forth, is needed early in the design so that uh, hindi po magka-problema yung uh, uh, installation natin. Okay, so uh, before actually beginning the the uh, design layout of the project, the designer will need to accumulate uh, cert uh, certain information. So these are the information that we need. Unang una, determine the with, uh, whether electric service is available at the site. No, or what ta what type of system? It is either a single phase, a three phase, or uh, uh, ano po yung mga voltage niya, mga voltage uh, available, no? System voltage, 220, 230, and so on. Number two, we have this. Uh, Obtain a list from the owner of all the types and locations of the equipment and appliances to be used in the building that will require electricity. Okay, so ano po ba yung mga load natin na kailangan natin na isupplyan ng kuryente? Ito po, kailangan po natin yan. Okay, so uh, work with that architectural designer to best locate all of the electrical equipment and appliances para hindi ma-conflict yung idea ng architectural uh, a designer kasi yung designer yung architectural designer yung tinitingnan niya yung uh, magandang uh, tignan no the aesthetic of our design okay number 4 review with the architect where the basic mechanical equipment like uh, the uh, the air conditioning no the uh, yung sa mga mga sa basta sa mga heating no sa heating and air, air conditioning and uh, even plumbing no the service and trans equipment the power lighting panels and the conduit or cable will, will be located so discuss with the owners many any future plans for future plans for the changing or expanding additions to other buildings and, uh, so that uh, you will be able to know kung ano pa yung uh, na kailangang idagdag o ano pa kaya yung idagdag sa design. Okay. So, basic design uh, considerations. So, we have this one. So, experience guides the uh, designer to a solution that best suits the uh, need of the building occupant. Unang-una, uh, observing and evaluating existing solutions, adapting them to meet the project requirements, Okay, applying electrical system theory and applying code requirements. Ayan. So, ito po yung uh, mga symbols na kinakailangan natin. But anyway, uh, we discussed this one already. So, guidelines for common spaces. No? Space. Para alam natin kung saan may lagay yung mga convenience outlet at mga switches. Number on types of lighting outlets should be fitted to the various seeing tasks. Okay, convenience receptacles, no? saan natin ilagay yan. Then, the uh, JFCI for protection, kung saan ang uh, medyo uh, wet area, no? na lagyan natin ng mga, uh, lagyan, uh, dapat lagyan natin ng mga uh, outlets. No? Kailangan JFCI yung ilagay natin doon. So, EFCI for arc uh, protection. No? Okay, so, arcing. So, we have that one. So, rooms that have more than one entrance should be equipped with multiple switch control. Uh, pag halimbawa, dalawa yung uh, uh, door natin, kailangan each door, mayroon tayong uh, lamp control. Para in, uh, hindi, kuan, no? so makikita natin, mayroong ilaw. So, kahit saan tayo papasok. So, uh, wall switches would be located at the lock seat. Okay, uh, at the lock seat or latch uh, side of doors or at the traffic side of arc arches, no? or arches, no? arcs. 
So we have that one. Then a convenience spectacle in the living room, bedrooms, dining areas, and other hab habitable spaces should be placed so that no point along the floor line in any usable wall space is more than six feet. So ayon. So dapat alam natin sa natin ilagay yung mga. So yun po mga kailangan natin. Ito po yung example no ng uh, mga electrical outlet sa ka lamp uh, lighting sa mga switches. Example lang po ito. So um, ito pong uh, finished design. Building exterior one or more lighting outlets may be located no for a single family dwelling. Okay, at least one duplex convenience shall be installed outdoors to be readily available from ground level. So, pwede, pwede rin nating lagyan ng uh, 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 outlet or convenience outlet outdoors para mayroon din tayong magagamit sa labas. No? Pero at least one duplex uh, receipt ko lang po. Uh, wag natin paramihan. Okay, one or more outlets may be required for exterior uh, equipment. Uh, like for example, doon sa mga swimming pools. Common areas and living rooms, outlets for ambient and task lighting should be provided. Okay, convenience receptacles in living areas should be placed so that no point along the floor line in any usable wall is placed more than 6 feet. Okay, one or more receptacles for entertainment. Uh, equipment should be provided at bookcases, shelves, and other suitable locations. Okay. When general illumination is to be provided from portable lamps, then at least two separate wall switches, plug-in positions should be provided. Okay. Uh, wala naman siguro tayong fireplace dito sa Pilipinas, no? Pero siguro sa ibang uh, sa mga hotels, no? Baka mayroon tayong mga fireplace. Okay. So we have an outlet for that, no? Smoke detector. This is very important. Consider this one. Okay, so this is another example of the sample electrical plan. Go over with this one. Review. Food preparation kitchen. These are some of the important things that you're going to consider. Uh, lighting design for uh, uh, sink, rains, countertops, and uh, tables. No? Special purposes, uh, purpose receptacles. Try to think of this and at least 220 ampere small appliance circuits for kitchen, countertops. Ano po ba yung countertops? Yun sa kitchen na mga, mga uh, hang, yung hang cabinet, no? So, yun, no, mga countertops natin sa ibabaw. So, pwede na natin yung lagyan ng mga convenience outlet para mayroon, na tamata, mayroon din tayo masaksak doon or mayroon tayong magagamitan ng kuryente. So, we have that one, no? So, convenience receptacle serving countertops areas. Okay. So, smoke detector alarm. Okay. Sleeping areas or bedrooms. Okay. So, ano po yung kailangan natin dito? Kailangan natin ng ceiling or wall outlets controlled by one or more wall switches. Okay. Convenience receptacles uh, should be placed on each side of the wall. Okay. So, supply outlets and dwelling bedrooms. Using your AFCI. Okay, sa arcing po yun. Kasi delikado yan pag mag-arcing. So, the master's bedrooms outlet should be considered for a television entertainment equipment. Baka manunood ng uh, DVD and other uh, uh, audiovisual equipment. So, lagyan natin ng outlet yan. Master's bedrooms and outlet for a fireplace may be required. Okay. So, um... Lighting sources at the mirror should be capable of eliminating both sides of the face. Oh, importante yan. Mayroon din tayong kailangan na GFCI protected uh, receptacle within 3 feet of the uh, outside edge of its lavatory basin sa mga uh, bathrooms. No? Diyan sa mga bathrooms sa mga, uh, sa mga private uh, bathrooms sa mga uh, master's bedroom. Okay, uh, go over with this one. No? And in laundry areas also. So these are the things that you're going to require and consider. Okay, so holes and corridors. Ceiling fixtures should be installed for proper illumination. Convenience receptacles also. 10 feet, every uh, uh, 10 feet we have our uh, outlet. So we have also our uh, entrance fires. 
convenience obstacles should be placed no okay so that is uh, those are the required in stairway firewall or ceiling lighting outlets will be installed okay outlets should be so arranged that the stair system can be fully illuminated smoke detector also so in utility rooms or stock rooms so lighting outlets mm -hmm. so kailangan natin ng lighting outlets no Convenience receptacles should be provided also in the utility rooms. Okay, outlets should be provided for each piece of mechanical equipment. Baka mayroon tayong mga uh, mechanical equipment like motors, boilers, chillers, furnace, water pumps, or compressors. So, kailangan natin yan. Okay, so sa mga shops and garages, so ito po yung mga kailangan ni natin. So, just uh, go over with this. Storage rooms. Closets, and we have that. Generally, one lighting for each large closet or storage room should be provided. Wall switches or automatic door switches are preferred, but uh, pole switches are acceptable also. Sa mga cabinets yan at saka sa mga uh, closets, no? Pwede na natin gamitan ng mga pole out outlets nang lang gagamitin natin. Ah, pole switches lang gagamitin natin. So, sa electrical telecommunications or telecommunications closet, so, lighting uh, outlets uh, should be placed uh, to eliminate the area. Okay, minimum of two dedicated convenience outlet or receptacles on separate circuits is required. Okay, your room should be located away from sources of electromagnetic interferences. Kasi po, telecommunications ito eh. Baka uh, hindi na maganda yung uh, reception. So, we need to... Uh, put uh, away these uh, like uh, transformers, motors, X-ray equipments, induction heaters, welders, and other radio and radar system. Okay, para walang uh, interferences, no? Emergency power should be considered unsupplied. Para kung mag out, meron tayong uh, supply and uh, power emergency. So, smoke detector. Okay, so these are some of the sample design. And uh, just go over with the sample design that we have. Okay, so mayroon dito kung paano, anong gagawin mag-design. Okay, like, uh, balik lang tayo ng konti. Unang-una, locate the receptacle on the floor plan. Following the guidelines uh, provided, GFCI, FCI, protected receptacles should be located following the requirements. Yung pangalawa, locate all appliance and equipment outlets no, on the floor plan a floor plan using the appropriate symbols of the various uh, equipment okay so uh, uh, third one or uh, next one we have this uh, locate the lighting fixtures using the appropriate symbols to present each then lay out the switches to po okay lay out the switches through or required to control the lighting light appliance equipment Number four, locate the panel board. Kung saan natin ilagay po ito. And it should be accessible. Sana, dapat. Layout circuiting for large appliances and equipment served by the individual brand circuit. So, number seven, layout uh, circuiting for lighting and convenience for general purpose. Layout uh, the panel uh, circuits uh, either on the drawing or in a table. Ito po yung mga kailang gagawin. So, load competitions na tayo. So, we have here mga load competitions natin. We have this 3 volt ampere per uh, per square foot. Ito po yung uh, uh, minimum general lighting no load requirements. So, halimbawa, if yung area natin is 2,214 square foot or square feet, then uh, multiply it by the standard or specified uh, lighting minimum then we have this three, so more or less uh, with that uh, area of 2,214, we have this, we need 6,642 6, volt amperes. Okay, so for the appliance, uh, the similar thing here, then we have the subtotal to solve for the subtotal. We have more or less uh, subtotal power requirement. We have this uh, 11,142. Apply tayo ng demand factor. So, we have uh, for... Uh, sa, G sa Philippine Electrical Code, marami tayong mga demand factor doon. Example lang po ito. 
for 3000 volt ampere we have uh, 100% the remaining uh, is 35% example lang po ito so halimbawa yung uh, power natin is uh, 11142 so 3000 for that uh, 100% so we have 3000 here remaining is uh, 8142 times 35% demand factor so we have more or less our power applied uh, with the demand factor is uh, 5850 instead of uh, 11,142. Ito po yung gagamitin natin para mag-compute ng total current. Okay, so ito po yung mga specified load ng mga individual uh, appliance natin. No? So, halimbawa, water heater, 3,800. Clothes dryer, 4,400. Dishwasher, 1,000. So on and so forth. Okay, so the service entrance, we have to compute here. Uh, 33,000 okay so we have this uh, uh, 175 245 for example uh, 240 volts then we have this 138 amperes okay so ito po yung ginagamit niya service entrance so mayroon din tayong uh, rinse load no? rinse outlet uh, more or less uh, 8,000 po yung consideration natin and uh, we have this uh, demand factor of 70%. More or less, we have this 5,600 applying demand factor. So we have 25,175 uh, for the other, no? other uh, demand or other load. So on and so forth. So we have this 128.2 uh, amperes. So we have this one. To determine the pa panel board, so use this uh, solution here. Okay, so I think we finished discussing our uh, uh, chapter 3. Uh, okay, so I hope that you learned many things. Our chapter 3 is uh, Building Electrical Design Principles. I hope that you learned many things in our discussion, especially on how you're going to design some of the important things with regards to the uh, installation and our households, no? Okay, so once again, thank you for listening. God bless. Thank you very much.